dun 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 Digby College <laughs> I'm thinking I'll probably dub over the top of this and put some music on, hence no speaking. But if you can hear me, I've been lazy and I haven't even done that. It's a bit, bit cheeky and came the back way into Digby as well through Froble. How many of us have gone through here going to breakfast and brunch and lunch and everything else? Like this when we studied here, was it, guys? Dun, dun, dun. Tell the uni's closed, but no one's here. Even this feels smaller than when we used to come here for lunch. When I was at Froball, they didn't even do brunch at weekends, you had to come here. God, that was a pain, being with the Digby people. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, guys. Although I wasn't at the time. A little bit nicer than it was when we were all here. Do the same scrappy notes. Digby being deeply religious, we'd like to say hello to one of the statues. I suppose the snow does help make Digby look better, it's even a snowman. A few of you might recognise him if you studied here. Clock there always reminded me of Colditz. That's why I think so many of you were so happy to escape and get to the bar. I'm trying to go a little bit slower this time, which will inevitably mean it's a longer video. Somehow seems wrong doing a longer video for Digby than Froble, but there you go. I'll come back in the summer when the snow's not here. Oh, I used to study history in there. I used to spend hours listening to John Seed, I think it was. Someone else doing the guided tour of Roehampton? Oh. I was listening to the commentary, I was waiting for that. <laughs> it's for my friends who have left about ten years ago who can't make it. Um, this is the LRC library. I think we'll just follow him actually. <laughs> anyone did drama you probably did it up there the LRC or the library as everyone else knows it a waterstone I didn't even know that was here waterstones have a bookshop at Digby now 
just did discover something new, Waterstones, thank you. Might recognise that lady too. At least I didn't study here, the uh, religion didn't quite hit me as hard as it did some of the others. <laughs> some of you won't actually have seen this building. The new halls of residence that they decided to uh, build in the middle of the green where everyone used to play football. Just found out last night that there's some uh, playing fields, some sports fields over in Dover House Road that Roehampton has just acquired. For 57p they have a 99 year lease. Probably going to cost them about two million pounds to uh, overhaul their premises. But Roehampton students are going to be able to play sports over there, which is kind of lucky, as they seem to have built on every bit of grass around here. So here is the uh, what's now the LRC. For everyone else, it's the library where you go scurrying at the end of every term to uh, finish all your exams, get all your paperwork done. There's actually a coffee shop and stuff in there now as well, which is quite good. And uh, a pink machine, which is bloody handy. Just about to see, someone's been building an igloo on the lawn. Really, it's a funny shaped building. That's a third of a horseshoe, right in the middle. That's the main entrance over there. Should really have come up. Cute girl with uh, orange hair. Woohoo! Anyway, back with the tour. Sorry, still looking at the cute girl. So, let's see if any of this is new to you guys too. Right, let's look down there. There's a little lake down there. You can actually walk from here all the way around to Froebel College now. Student Union building, still with Digby Bar, the Belfry Bar underneath. I think someone's helpfully wrote Froebel 3. <laughs> God, Frigby, I'm so pleased we won it. <laughs> Big signs just in case people get lost and don't know where they're going. I think this is a replacement building. Uh, this is where I did a course the other day. It's a lot of fun, very modern inside. And obviously, you've got the walk down to Southfields College there. It's the end of Dan's tour of Digby. Hope you've liked it. And uh, see you 